Okay, I'm just going to give a quick tutorial on animating uh, some tricks. Nothing major here. All that's going to be happening is this character is going to be like falling and then landing on the grid there. So I'm going to start off with him high in the sky, maybe something like this. Insert a keyframe to every, uh, every bone that's showing at least. Now notice how when I pressed insert it gave me all these options. Typically whenever you're inserting for a bone you usually just use location and rotation. Um, so I can go down here and click on the keying set and just click location rotation and now whenever I press insert it automatically inserts to the location and rotation. I don't need to go through that menu. So let's start off with what kind of pose is he in when he's up in the sky and he's going to fall. I don't know. Uh, something like this. Um, I don't know. This character, by the way, is available on BlendSwap. Check out all my videos on, uh, on YouTube DX3 1979 and for some reason I've got an issue with my uh, weight painting here so I'm going to go and weight paint that let's see there's apparently this one this guy here and I think that's supposed to go with probably with this one so I'll assign him to that and let's do an add okay there sorry about that okay go back into Pose mode, if I can get to my bones, there we go. Okay, so he's starting off, he's fallen. Okay, so this is my first keyframe. Say 10 frames later, so I just press the up key, that skips ahead to 10 frames. Now he lands on the, got a nice dynamic pose where he's on the, on the uh, grid here. In fact, let's make him spread out the legs a little bit. Bam! Nails it. Okay. Down he goes. Gonna get a little bit of ankle rotation there. A good thing to do often is to have chest and spine uh, rotation. Uh, what I mean, I'll show you that in a second here. Just let me get his hand somewhere reasonable. Not going to go through an awesome pose here, just something to get the job done. Remember the shoulders. I want these legs to be even with each other. Okay, so there's pose number two. So let's see what it looks like. Let's get up to here. Uh, it's not the best pose, but okay, so he's falling, bam, bam. Now the only thing is when you fall, you're not gonna go into this. You're gonna land it and then, so what I would do is I'd go one frame, maybe one or two frames back. I would say that the legs are gonna stick. So I'm gonna grab the two leg bones here and I'm gonna press control C so now I've copied their location and rotation I'm gonna go two frames back and I'm gonna paste it so now I insert that keyframe boom so the legs are gonna go down hit BAM and then the rest of the body follows okay and now when they hit let's say that the body is lagging behind a little bit so the body is still up in the air not the best pose but it'll work all right so I can all right so now we've got our fall here BAM and then he hits and smack he goes down really quick BAM okay now let's bring up my dope sheet 
Oh, that's not what I want to do. So now we've got three major um, keyframes. We've got the starting frame, the ending frame, and then a tween, middle frame. Okay, so let's say, first off, I'm gonna limit selection, limit uh, display to selection, which means only bones that I've got selected will now be displayed. So let's say I just wanna focus on the position of that one leg. Notice how only the foot main leg, if I unselect that, now I've gotta deal with every bone, okay? And so some of the times when I'm fine tuning, it's really nice to have that selected. But what I'm really after is when David Ward was going through his tutorial, he, he was trying to select all the keyframes by box selecting. And certainly that's a way to do it, but that's really in, in a, a slow way. It's simple. You can just alt click. So right now I've got my alt mouse button selected and then click. And now every key along that green line is selected. And I don't have to be on the green line. I just alt click. Alt click, alt click, alt click, alt click. Now notice where the green line is. Now I'm gonna press control and click to the right side. Notice how that selected every key to the right of the green line. Now I've got control, pre control pressed, and I'm gonna select to the left of that green line. All the keys to the left of that green line are selected. If the green line is there, control click. That led to these, this set of keyframes being selected. Control click on this side leads to these ones. Control click over here. Now this is useful. Say I wanted to do like a slow motion thing. So now he's going to hit, bam, and now I want it to go slow motion into there. Well, I can just go right into here into the middle, control click, and now I'm going to extend it by either pressing G, like to grab all those keyframes and move them back. And so now I've got this slow motion effect. Kind of thing. Or I can speed it up. Bam! I can speed up, I can slow down the uh, control click and I can extend that and so I can make it a really slow fall. Then bam! It nails it. Okay, so the big things I wanted to talk about control clicking and then alt clicking. Alt click, alt click, alt click, control click, control click. Now the control click is based on where the green line is. Alt click is irrelevant. It just whatever frames are on that key, whatever keys are on that frame, they're they're selected. Oh, and I wanted to talk about that chest rotation. It's just really good. Notice how his chest is kind of rotate. Well, it's not really rotated, but I suppose if I wanted to, to to uh, exaggerate it, to make dynamic poses, it's often really nice to have. Uh, the like the abdomen and the hips and opposition with the um, with the uh, chest and so notice how the the abdomen is kind of going pointing to about one o'clock over here and then the chest itself is pointing to about noon so there's a little bit of a opposing angle there and so if I were to key that insert that and now somewhere in between there it rotates to where now the abdomen is at noon and the chest is at one o'clock and that looks really nice it's just it's a typical human action that our our spine will curve in opposition to each other especially as we move the chest will go left the abs will go right and vice versa I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I hope you got something out of it